With the new update to Luminar Flex 1.1, working with your filters catalog is even easier. The first thing you'll notice is that whenever you open your Luminar Flex plugin, the filters catalog will be open by default. Now this makes it even easier to grab and apply your favorite filters. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab the Accent AI filter and the AI Sky Enhancer filter and just boost those up a little bit. As you can see, my image already looks better. But what if I really want to take advantage of all the filters and how the filters in the filter catalog work? Well, the first thing I can do is I can browse my filters catalog by categories. Instead of looking at all of the filters, I can simply click on the drop down menu and say, look at my essential filters or my creative filters. Perhaps I have a problem that I need to fix and I don't even know what filters to use. So I can switch over and look at my issue fixers. The next thing I can do is I can hover my mouse over the individual filters and I'll see a short description of exactly what that filter will do and how it could enhance or correct my photo. Now, if I don't wanna see this all the time, all I have to do is click on this little yellow eye circle right up here and it turns off those pop-ups. And if I want to see them again, I can just click to turn it on. I'm going to switch back to showing all of my filters and show you another way that you can search or find filters. Now, you would think in the search area, the only thing you could do is just type in the name of a filter you already know. Well, of course you can. So if I was looking for, say, golden hour and I couldn't find it, I could type in gold and I can see that the golden hour filter is available. But the search box is a lot more powerful than just being able to find a filter by its name. I can search by tags or keywords within each of the filters. So for instance, if I wanted to find something to enhance this image, maybe add a glow to it, I can type in the word glow and I'll see all the filters that have some sort of slider that will affect the glow on my image. So I could apply the Orton effect and as you can see, it does add a little bit of glow. Let me delete that. Or perhaps I want to just try soft glow. And I could try that filter. Let's try another search. I'm going to hit the X and that's going to delete the word glow. And I want to find something that's going to affect noise in my image. So I'll type in the word noise. And I can see there's a denoise filter to remove noise from an image. But there's also a grain filter. So I can actually add noise to my image. So this is great. By just being able to type in a keyword or a tag, I can find filters that I never knew existed that could either enhance my image or solve a problem. I'm going to click on the X to remove the word noise from my search box and show you a couple of other things. First of all, there's the option to just show your favorite filters. And if I click on favorites, you see this is completely empty. Let's go back to all. If I go down and select any filter, you notice as I hover over it, there's a little star. And that way I can mark it as a favorite. Of course, my top two filters are the Accent AI filter and the AI Sky Enhancer. So those, of course, will be favorites. I use the vignette all the time. I really like the tone filter. Being able to quickly remove color cast is great. So let's go ahead and check that filter. And finally, we'll add maybe Golden Hour. I use that a lot. And I'll scroll down and I really like the HSL filter, Hue, Saturation, and Luminance. Once checked, they turn from white to orange. And now when I go ahead and click on the favorites option, I see just my favorite filters and I can readily grab those and apply them to my image. So maybe I'll go ahead and I'll grab that tone, apply that and use Smart Tone and go ahead and bring down some of those highlights without affecting any of the shadows in my image. In addition to favorites, there's another great way you can sort your filters, and that's using Recent. And what Recent does is using artificial intelligence, it watches what filters you've used recently, and you can quickly bring those up. And this is a great way to discover what your favorite filters might be, or filters that you find that you use a lot. So the Recent option is a great way to grab those frequently used filters without having to hunt for them. Now, if you wanna close the filters catalog to give you a little more real estate to look at your image, you can press the X button here and that will close the filters catalog. And then to reopen it, click on the add filters button. 
it will reopen your filters catalog, as well as clicking it a second time will also close it. Knowing your way around the Luminar filters catalog lets you find the filters you need quickly and easily.